Hey guys, howdy do. I'm Karen Adamski with ShamaMama.com and today I wanted to make this quick video blog because I've been noticing a trend um, in people questioning themselves uh, or questioning their practices or uh, and it all revolves around intuition. So really it's, it's people questioning their intuition um, and even to the point of whether or not they have intuition or not. Uh, and it just seems like it's coming up daily so I figured if it's coming up for me, it's probably coming up for you too, and it's probably something good to talk about. So I wanted to just give you my two cents on the topic. So uh, the first um, first kind of example that comes to mind is uh, I was sitting with um, a group of friends, and uh, most of us are kind of, uh, I would say, you know, spiritual. Uh, we have different practices, but we all kind of can understand, you know, when we're having a a discussion about, oh, this is what I do, and this is what I do, you kind of, you know, get it. Um, and then there's this one friend who is in this discussion, and she, it's all new to her. She's like, I don't know, it all sounds crazy woo-woo to me, but she's kind of opening up a little bit, or she wants to kind of stick her foot in the door and, and see what it's all about. Um, and she's, you know, I don't, I don't know what this is all about. I, I consider it like spiritualism or, uh, you know, metaphysical stuff but I don't know if it's okay for me to delve into that. And she said she noticed that all of us seem so happy in our lives and seem so um, grounded and open to trying different things and um, things that she doesn't consider the norm. And her thing was she shared with us that she um, was born and raised Catholic and she's still practicing and, and loves her faith and isn't sure if stepping into um, spiritualism, her, her thought was she was interested in maybe getting her chakras balanced. And to her, that was a really big deal. She wasn't sure if that was okay or not. So it was just a really interesting um, glimpse into her, into her mind. And um, it, it, just a lot of questions for her. And so, you know, our, my advice was obviously Follow, follow your heart, and if it's something that you're interested in, your, you know, whatever your religion is, um, can go along with that. Uh, shamanism, for example, is not a religion; it's a spiritual practice. It's a way of living. And the way that I live as a shaman, shamanic practitioner, and, and welcome shamanism into my life is very, very different potentially than maybe my next door neighbor who's doing the same thing. Um, I don't know if she is or not, but <laughs> I'm just saying there's. One person's path does not look like another person's path. So just you know, be open and uh, try different things. And if it's for you, great. If it's not, great. It doesn't matter. Um, but that was one kind of questioning thing that came up. The other one was um, uh, people have been asking a lot about crystals and you know what? What do I have a headache? What should I do for this? Or oh gosh, my immune system feels like a, a, you know it's it's low and I want to boost it. What what crystal should I put together? And those are great questions, and it's good to ask those questions um, because there are things I wanted to share with you. Um, you know, this is one of my favorite books, The Book of Stones, but then there's a Crystal Bible and a lot of different things, or you can just Google it. Um, you know, if you have a particular stone or if you're looking for a stone for a particular ailment um, or to enhance something, um, you can Google it and kind of look at what other people recommend. And that is important because it's, usually passed down through ancient wisdom or science um, or other people's experiences. So those are all really valid reasons to listen to that advice. But the part I think that people miss sometimes is the more important part, and that is to follow your own intuition. Um, and that means don't look at the book all the time. You know, if the book, take it for what it's worth, but if your gut is telling you, you know, that piece of amber that they said is really good for my migraines, it doesn't feel like it. It feels like, you know, maybe maybe it's better for um, my depression. You know, whatever whatever is feels right to you, chances are that's exactly what you're supposed to be using it for. So listen to your intuition. So it's okay, you know, ask those questions. What is, what's this crystal great for? What, what should I do with this? What should I do with that? But before you do that, use your own intuition and see what you get. Um, I wanted to share this. Uh, this is a piece of smoky quartz that I was recently gifted, and uh, it has a piece. It has fluoride growing from it. It's just I don't know if you can see it on here very well. And it's not, um, you know, super fancy gem 
quality or anything, but the energy coming from it is so awesome. And um, I, I, it's funny, when it was gifted to me, it was just very, you know, meaningful, but then also I thought, oh great, smoky quartz will be great for healing, because for me that's always my go-to stone, is uh, smoky quartz. And then so I was holding it and, you know, kind of getting to know it a little bit, and it's, it's not about healing this piece for me. This piece is more about um, grounding and balancing. So um, it's just a good example of, you know, one stone could be different from another stone too. So again, follow your intuition. Um, and then the other question, this is the one that really prompted me to make this um, video blog. This came up this morning on my shamamama.com blog site. I had written a blog about what it is to be a shaman, or what is shamanism exactly, you know, because people kind of wonder. And so it was a great blog, a written blog that just kind of goes through all the different things that a shamanic practitioner does, um, or could do. And this uh, one person who follows it, uh, follows the blog, he responded to me, he said, you know, that was really good information, and he kind of shared a really open, um, very personal story that uh, stuff he's been going through lately and um, I, th I thought I applaud him for that because it's really awesome to talk about um, things openly like that but his ultimately what he was getting at was that his um, he's been using tarot cards or spirit cards and he was feeling really really kind of pressured um, because he wasn't understanding the book or he wasn't getting the information from the book um, I wish he were here he could probably speak to it better <laughs> but um, the book was causing him some anxiety because he would choose a card and then, you know, try to follow what the book was saying. And he reached out to a friend um, and asked for some guidance, and that friend gave him this really great advice, um, same advice that I would give. And it's, it's that, great, the book is there kind of as a guideline. Um, but more than that, you want to use the cards and use your own intuition and, and use them as a tool to... Um, delve deeper into your own meditation or your own um, journey and, and just use them as a tool for your own spiritual path. Uh, so that was really great information and I'm so glad that he shared that on there. So I wanted to share, um, this is my, well, these are two decks actually that I have put together. One is um, their spirit animal cards and then the other, um, their angel cards. And I just, I put them together, and I have for a number of years now, and it just feels right to me. But it's funny, because when I was reading that blog about, um, or the response to the blog about the uh, cards, I thought, I, I don't even know where the books are for these. And I went to go look, and I, I don't know, they're in my closet, so I'm like, swoops, buried. So, um, to that one uh, follower's point, that's great. Don't, don't, I think, you know, it's really, really, uh, if the book is causing you anxiety, put it in the back of your closet and marry it. It's okay. <laughs> and just follow your intuition. I do have another um, set of cards that I use. I, the ones I just showed you, these ones are really for myself, um, and I use these kind of on a almost daily basis. I try to, anyway. Um, so those are really personal to me, but then I also have other cards that I, um, I use these with some of my clients or friends and family. And um, I do follow the book with this one a little bit more, um, just because I really enjoy it. Um, I'm trying to see. Okay, it's just called Medicine the Hearts. That's what it looks like. But the person who wrote this, uh, and I believe the illustrator of the cards too, they have some uh, Native American background, and uh, there's some really great ancient wisdom that's handed down through these books. and. Um, through this book and so I, I choose to always honor the book along with my intuition whereas my other cards it's just straight intuition so you know do what's right for you okay all right I talked a lot sorry chatty Kathy today anyway I hope you're well be kind to yourself and I will talk to you soon okay namaste Ooh, and use your intuition all right see ya